Hi, it's Nyx, and today we're going to be going over how to install The Sims 4 Mod Assistant. I really like this program because it does a pretty decent job of telling you about possibly conflicting CC. Um, I did go over this program very briefly in another video, which I can link below. H. Yang understandably requested a video about how to install it because it is a little weird on the download page. So thank you very much for the request. And if anyone else has any requests for tutorials, leave them in the comments below. Um, if possible, I will happily try to make said tutorial. All right, y'all, let's get started. So first of all, we want to go over to Google and we want to search uh, Sims 4 Mod Assistant. Uh, it's going to be the first thing that pop up usually for, and it's going to be on Mod The Sims for a download. You just scroll here, you scroll down, and you'll see it'll tell you about the mod. Um, they tell you that they have a Mac version now. Um, it tells you what it does. It finds exact duplicates, and then it'll tell you it'll try to find conflicts for uh, these type of items, catalogs, skin tones, cast sliders, things like that. Because uh, there's a lot of different sliders, and I have multiple sliders, so they'll pop up on mine because I know I've downloaded uh, sliders that do the same thing, and I'm sure they cause conflicts. Uh, but anyway, you want to go over here to download and uh, this one here is the Mac version of this. And then this one here is the Windows version of this program. So if you have Windows, which I do, I'm going to go ahead and click the second one. Um, you want to go ahead and download it to an area that you know you want it, where you want to put it at. So if you have Sims 4 Studio, you might want to put it in the same file that you have your Sims 4 Studio. For now, I will, um, for now, I'll just throw it here. It starts to already exist there. I'll say yes. I'll just go through the whole process again. I just click on it here to open it. But just make sure you know where it is in your folder. So you click on it there to open it and it opens up. Uh, it's, you do have to have WinRAR or 7-Zip um, to unzip it. So whatever you use to normally unzip your files. I have seven zip. So you extract it. It'll say, hey, where you want to extract it? What do I want to distract it to? So depending on where you want to extract it to, if you don't like the options that pop up here, you can say, hey, I want to extract it to my desktop. So hit OK. Hit OK. And it'll go to, it'll put it wherever you said. So since it's on my desktop, I'm going to go ahead and minimize all this stuff that I have open. All right. And then minimize that and it should be somewhere up here so this is sims mod assistant there it goes this is the program here you have to have it there i'm gonna right click create shortcut i'm gonna put the shortcut out here it's going to replace the one that's already there but hit replace that file and then boom there you go so that way it'll be on the outside so you can always get to it or you can pin it to the start or whatever you want to do so you can always have access to it very easily I'm going to delete this. I'm going to move this later, but for right now, I'm just putting it there. But anyway, we're going to go ahead, open it, double click to open it. And then it's going to ask you to choose a directory. So I'm going to go to my uh, main one right now. It's already kind of set up, but let's go back to the outside. That's not my main one. So let's see. This is actually not merged. I know it's marked as that. These are not merged files, as you can see. So we're gonna use this as our sample. It's just a backup of my uh, items right now. It's just a backup of all my CC that I have. So we're gonna use this as our example. So hit select folder. It's gonna pop up up here. It's gonna say, hey, do you wanna search for exact doubles or do you wanna search for catalog conflicts? I prefer to search for catalog conflicts because exact doubles doesn't show you all the possible duplicates that may be slowing up your game. For example, let's say you have some CC that you get the updated version of. The search for exact duplicate options may not see this as the same file and you'll have both of those in there if you forgot to delete it before you downloaded your new version of the game. Um, and I'll show you later how many conflicts appear between the two options later, like the find duplicates versus find conflicts. Depending on how many files you have, this may take a while. <laughs> so I'll catch up with you all once this kind of finishes reading all my files. <laughs> Alrighty, we are back and it comes up with uh, 61 conflicts here. So that's quite a bit, but you know, not the worst in the world. Um, it also had the skip files thing. So basically in the skip file, it's like all your .text files and all these other things that you should probably just go ahead and delete. 
Um, I'm not sure about the dot any files because sometimes they are important. But you know, all your zips and stuff like that, you can go ahead and get rid of that. And if you click on it on the side, it will take you directly to that file in the folder. But anyway, let's go back to the conflicts. So the first conflicts that pop up here are the pacifiers from Ebonics. More than likely, if you see a bunch of them like this, that means you probably have a merge file somewhere in here. But let's say that you see something and you want to check out and see what the issue is, what's causing conflict. You can go directly, you can open it up directly in Sims 4 Studio with these little diamonds on the side. So if you click on it, it will open up Sims 4 Studio. It takes a second. And then if you want to also look at it, you can look at it in the directory or the in its folder, basically. So you just double click on it and it will take you directly in the folder and you can delete it in the folder. Um, but let's see what it says in Sims 4 Studio right quick. Okay, so it is a, a binky and you can just kind of keep opening them until you figure it out. Um, earlier, I was able to figure out that it was this file here. It's called a designer logo. So let's open up the Sims 4 Studio and see why it's causing that issue. So when it is a merge file, it will pop up like this. That means that these are all the binkies in here as is <laughs> it's called bougie binky designer logos. So it will tell you the location and all that stuff in Sims 4 Studio. And then when it's a merge package, like I said, it'll pop up. It's like this and it'll show you all these um little empty. I mean, it'll show you all these lines in here, but you can look at it with the thumbnails and all that stuff if you would like to. So basically you have to delete all these items. So you can go to the folder and you can delete it directly, or you can go ahead and click all these things around it. So, you know, cause you know that only one you need is the merge package. You don't need all these and the merge package. And then what I like to do is I'll click all the ones I want to delete and I'll move to select it. And I have a folder called delete. Now I just move all these things into this folder. And it'll move all items from out there original folders into this delete folder and that way you don't have to like go to each folder and delete them and you just kind of can do all that same thing for this so this one i it says facial hair hair and hat so i'm not sure if it's the same item that goes into different locations or they're just similar because they have the same name but you can just go ahead you can open it up in the sims 4 studio to look at it and let's open up the next one and you can open up all of them. So this one is the hair. And then this one is the facial hair. And as you can see, there really is no difference. So it's the same item. Um, and you can just go ahead and delete one of them. Now, like I said, I'm not sure if it's because it goes into different places, but you definitely don't need them in all of those places. And I'm not sure if it's a hair or if it's a facial hair, but you can definitely delete it from here and at least here. And then this is a nose mask. I'm not sure if this nose mask is different, but it does have IRLE type of thing on the end. So I'm not sure if it's like all right, adult toddler. So it pops up as, as everybody can wear that. And then for this one, let's see. It looks the same. But it might save differently. I don't know. Let's see. If you want to delete it, then you can. Sometimes I don't like deleting stuff like this because sometimes it, it might be that this can come up in skin details and this one actually come up in nose. I don't know. I would have to go on this on the site and check it out. So things like that, where you're not sure about, you can. Um, so I can open it up in a directory. Try to help me get the name right quick. Copy it. Look for it on Google. And see what pops up. So that's his swatches. So, oh, so one might be an overlay and one may not be. And that might be the only difference is one is overlay and one isn't. I forgot that uh, Obscures has a lot of uh, overlays. So there you go. So it might be something like that where one is an overlay and one isn't. So it's things like that. This is, it's a version one and version two. Well, version one and it's, a, it's in what well, it says version two, but it's probably the same file. I think some of my files got a little corrupted. So I might have to go and find some of these files, but nope, it's a merge file. This one's merged and this one is regular. 
So there you go. This one is a merge file. So this version two, you can just go ahead and get rid of because it's a merge file. Um, so it'll help you find like a lot of things where you have the same thing twice and it's a merge file and you need to get rid of it. So this one, you can just go ahead and delete and you can just kind of keep doing that until you're done. Like this is eyelashes. You go ahead. And like I said, you just keep doing that. For some reason, eyelashes pop up as edges. Again, um, I think what happened is some of my files got corrupted because I was moving my drive back and forth. Don't do that. If you're going to move your drive, please eject it properly. So that way you won't waste your time trying to fix corrupted files. And then it still is corrupt or it has been overwritten. So, yeah, I think that's what happened with this is these eyelashes were probably overwritten. And um, now I don't have these eyelashes anymore. I can go try to find them on Google and see if I can pop them up again. But, you know, might as well go ahead and get rid of it. So just stuff like that. This is an exact duplicate. You just kind of keep going through it. Uh, this dress probably is similar because that one says no sleeves and sleeves. So this must be, oh, this is the no sleeves. And then, and then this is, it says, this one says no sleeves. This one says sleeves. So sometimes you might want to type in thumbnail. I can't spell sometimes. <laughs> to see if more than one cast thing pops up because it might show something for the sleeveless one because it claims it is a merge file. Oh, the way there you go. So it is a merge file. And there you go. So you might want to go ahead and delete the no sleeves package because you already have it in this one. And that's why it popped up as uh, the same thing. And you kind of just keep going until you kind of go through everything to try to figure out what the issue is. Anytime you're adding more things to your to your CC folder, just kind of keep going through it. Just kind of go over it, you know, especially if you merge your stuff, kind of go over it to make sure, you know, you're not getting duplicates. But and you kind of just keep going through all of them. I'll show you right quick how it looks when you search for exact doubles. I'm not going to move anything or delete anything right now. So I'm going to show you what happens if you search for exact doubles and I'll be back with you in a sec. Alrighty, so we are back and with the search exact duplicates, we only get 18 conflicts and we know that there were, uh, I think 61 when you did the catalog conflicts. So it, um, it doesn't even show all of the conflicts that we had ran across before. It doesn't have to be the exact file name. As you can see, it just has to be very, it has to be similar enough for it to, to detect it as a, a, a conflict. So I have this in here twice. Oh, I want to show you too. If you, if you hover over the item, it will show you the file that it's in. Like this one is also, it's in the, it's in its own folder as well as in the supernatural folder for some reason. I don't know why it's in that, but that's where it is. So you can always just kind of look at it and see. So if you're trying to decide which one you want to get rid of, you can kind of hover over it for a second, see which one it pops on. And then you can kind of just, move it to where you want to move it to this one is in windows for some reason and walling so it's probably a walling type of situation i would move that one um same thing for this one this is pop up in windows that's probably in walling i'll move that one uh this is the exact same slider if for some reason it just kind of got this kind of d1 in it to kind of help move it same thing you just kind of move everything that you want to get rid of i probably need to go try to find oh sorry trying to find these eyelashes again if i really want to keep them um you just kind of move everything you want to move to the folder that you want to delete it so i'm moving all this stuff here select delete it as you saw it did get moved out of here and then i'm gonna go here and um you just delete it. Just go ahead, move all that stuff out that folder. That's it. Done. And that's pretty much all you need to know about the Sims 4 Mod Assistant. Again, you kind of just go here to figure out where you want it to move files or where it wants where you want it to read your files. Again, make sure you search for catalog conflicts. And you can always go directly to the folder that is in to delete it, or you can look at it in Sims 4 Studio. You can look at it directly from Sinful Studio to make sure that's the file you want to delete. Um, you can copy it to your clipboard. I don't really use that feature. There's no reason for me to, but 
if you needed to you can do that directly so i think my file here has gotten corrupted this dark stone file because as you can see it's only one kilobyte we all know that skins definitely are going to be more than that so you know like i said i am on a drive that was corrupted for this so a couple of things got overwritten and messed up unfortunately kind of is what it is on that so you could just go back and just find it back on google if possible to try to get that skin or whatever the item is back again if it's not showing up in sims 4 studio it's probably because it's corrupted and it's not there anymore or um no it's just not popping up anymore same thing this one's probably one kilobyte too yeah see these skins all messed up so you know just go back and find them again on a uh, google they messed up something you can do but i hope you all have found this helpful if you want to see more sims 4 tutorials you can click on that video up here to the left that is my tutorial playlist and if you want to subscribe for more tutorials in the future you can click my profile picture icon anyway thank you all for watching this video and i hope to see you all next time please take care of yourselves until then bye